guys I hope you are having an awesome day so I am back at you again with another DIY project I cannot believe that I finished this project today um, I did not think I was going to get it done but I did I pretty much just got on the floor and just kind of started working on it it's really hard for me to film these things sometimes because it's much easier for me to just do it away from the camera and just put it together but um hey I have to have to film it so you guys can have some really great DIYs so hopefully the video isn't too bad I know the camera angles aren't going to be that great because this was very cumbersome to uh, put together in front of the camera it'll be easy for you to do it but it was cumbersome putting it in front of the camera without any assistance okay because it's just me but um, hopefully you'll be able to get the gist of it and this should be a pretty easy project for you guys to put together all of the supplies will be in the description box below as always. I think you're really going to like this project once it's done. It was only $25 to make. So I look at it as kind of sort of like disposable. You can make these per special event so you don't have to hold on to it. But it is sturdy. Um, I made it out of some pretty good material. Um, and we'll get into that as we go into the video. But this is pretty sturdy and you can keep it if you want to. But it, like I said, it was only $25. So to me, it's um, it's something that you put together uh, on request. okay? And it's not expensive. So it's something that you can easily duplicate per party. Okay, guys. So this is what I call fluorescent ceiling tile this is um, for tile ceilings uh, most likely in office buildings and of course this is the insert where they have the fluorescent lights okay and I thought this this would be um, a pretty decent material to use to make these mini columns it is 23 by 47 you can see what the size is right there it'll run you about 14 bucks depending on what the tax base is in your area I have already marked where we are going to be folding this. We're not going to cut it. We're going to fold it at the 3 and 7 eighths mark. That's where we're going to fold this. And we're going to go ahead and make our column right now. All right, guys. So I have my white duct tape. And I have some just some regular scotch tape. And we are going to fold this thing. I hope I can get this in camera view excuse the mess in my craft room but I've been working on a lot of YouTube projects as you can tell so we're gonna take this thing and we're gonna fold it okay guys so we are going to tape together um, our panel our plastic panel using some a white duct tape I would suggest you get some really really good heavy-duty duct tape do not buy any from the Dollar Tree but purchase it from Lowe's or Walmart or something like that. Um, and there's some super, super heavy-duty duct tape that you can buy. Extra strength, I think it's called T-Rex. And you can use that. T-Rex just didn't come in white. So I've cut a couple of strips, as you can see on my finger. I cut a couple of strips because I just want to get this thing folded over and... I want to get it secured before I actually put a whole line of duct tape on there. So what I'm doing is, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this and fold it over into a circle. And we are going to join the pieces together so we can make a column. And then we want to go ahead and just stop right where we marked it. Okay, so we're, our fold line is right where we marked it. You want to push this thing down and make it kind of flexible because really that's the only way you can really work with it. And then I'm taking some duct tape and um, I am just putting some duct tape on, on here to hold it before I put the permanent pieces on there. So I just want to get a good hold on here. Um, Because this isn't going to show anyway. This is going to be covered by the um, poster board. So you're not even going to see this. But I'm just putting down some duct tape to hold it in place. 
before I put nice long strips of duct tape on there and we're just lining everything up okay so we have made a column out of this and um, I'll get a closer view I basically just put some duct tape over it um, just in small little sections just to hold it before we put a nice long strip of duct tape on here okay so we have created a cylinder out of this ceiling panel and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my white duct tape and I'm going to go ahead and reinforce where we joint it together so I can do that now I'm going to take a nice long piece make sure you have um, plenty on the other side and I'm going to go down and start joining this thing together um, I'm going to make sure that I do it correctly then I'm going to come all the way down and make sure that my tape is nice and tight Alright guys, so you can see where I have applied the duct tape. I doubled the duct tape on this because I didn't have the heavy duty type. But if you buy the T-Rex or the Gorilla duct tape, you should only have to do this one time. Okay, so uh, we have applied duct tape where it joined and also where it overlapped. Okay, so you can see what it looks like on the inside where it overlapped that's where we also put our duct tape so hopefully you're following me so this is what it looks like when you apply your duct tape and now we have a cylinder in place so what we have here is a nylon uh, cake board this is a 14 inch cake board you get three of them inside this uh, packet you can buy this from um, Hobby Lobby but this is cake board and this is 14 inch round so now what we're going to do is this should fit nicely right on top of our um, column we should be able to get it in there okay I hope so or else my measurements are off okay guys so we got our 14 inch round in there um if you can't get it in on one side try the other side <laughs> okay it's a nice snug fit so we did i was able to put it inside of our um cylinder okay so i did get it in there so pretty much just press down from the bottom until you kind of sort of get it flush and um, we're not going to worry too much about this because we need to put something inside of this so that this, the top of the cake ground that we put in here won't kind of go start moving down to the bottom if you sit something on top of this. Okay, so uh, this is where the next step comes in. Okay, guys, so we are going to need to put some support inside of our column. So, um... You will not believe where I got this from. I will link something that you can use in the description box below. But I decided to use this. I picked up a bunch of these out of the trash. Yes, guys, I was um, dumpster diving for a minute there. And I picked these up out of the trash um, at the back of Joann's. And they use this to wrap fabric around. Okay, so these are just empty fabric spools, if you want to call it that there. They're not spools because they're square, but they use this to wrap fabric around. So I picked up a couple of these and I thought, you know, I could probably use this for a DIY project. And sure enough, it came in handy. Okay, so this is what this is. But I'll try to link something similar that you can just actually go out and buy instead of dumpster diving in the back of Joann's. But did you have a Joann's near you? Go <laughs> to the back of the store and look around their dumpster they throw tons and tons of this stuff away and it's a great way to recycle okay so what I did was I glued two of these together and what it does is it's going to provide support for inside of our column 
So I just kind of glued it together so that it formed a V, okay? And um, this is going to be our support for inside of our column right here. So easily we'll be able to just take our column and the support will be right underneath it. And now we have something to make sure that our um, base, our top, doesn't fall down or sink down when we actually put something on top of it, okay? So um, this is our base, and I'm going to hot glue this. This is our base right here, and I'm going to turn this around, and I'm going to take this, and I'm going to hot glue it um, inside so that it will not move. Okay guys, so I'm going to take one of these extra cake rounds and I'm going to put it on top of our support and I'm going to hot glue that down on top of our support and then I'm going to put it inside of our cylinder. Okay, so I want to hot glue this down and that's going to give us a base right here and it will match up and it will also provide extra support for our column. This is what we got going on, guys. We got some support underneath. So now I can turn this around. Alright, guys. So now we're ready for our next step, which is using the uh, poster board. I got this poster board from the Dollar Tree. And you know their poster board is 50 cents a piece. So I think two sheets should do it. I should be able to use two sheets. There is going to be seams in this, guys, just in just so you know. So we're going to start applying this, and then uh, we'll be done. So we're going to go ahead, and we're going to apply our panel the long, the long way. And um, I'm going to do it with some. Uh, I'm going to do this with some transparent gloss finish Scott tape. Okay, so as you can see, guys, the first piece of poster board has been taped down. And now I'm going to turn this around, and of course I'll lay this back down again. And I'm going to put the other piece of poster board, and hopefully it'll be enough. Hopefully it'll close up nicely. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this box cutter, and we're going to need to trim around the top and get rid of the excess um, poster board. All right, guys, so this is what we have so far. It's looking pretty good. Um, it's We're really done. The only thing is that, like I said, the, um, the poster board did not come all the way around and meet like it was supposed to, so that was really disappointing. And um, the poster board is just a perfect finish, but it's not wide enough. It needs to be somewhere around 40 inches um, to get full coverage all the way around this column. So I'm gonna to try to see if I can find some other material that would work where you would only have one seam instead of two. So um, if I find something that works a little bit better, I will put it in the description box below. But right now what we're gonna do is finish off this top. This top is looking a little raw. So we are going to use this white vinyl electrical tape and you can get this for four bucks at Lowe's and uh, we're going to use this to finish off the top so that you don't see all that you know all that um unfinished unfinished edges okay
So this is what it looks like, guys, after we get the uh, white electrical tape around it. And you can see it covers up all of the raw edges. It looks uh, pretty good to me. Um, I like the way uh, it applied. It applied super, super smooth. I did not even have to lay down the tape on the top. It laid down on its own. The electrical tape is so smooth and soft that it doesn't rip the poster board, uh, so you can readjust it. So the electrical, white electrical tape, vinyl tape is definitely the way to go with this. So, um, yeah, so we're done. This looks pretty good. This looks pretty doggone good. So we are done here. I think this came out absolutely freaking amazing. I thought it was going to come out a hot mess but it didn't, it came out way better than I thought it would. Um, you're gonna really, really love this. Unfortunately, I don't know if they sell this um, ceiling panel any taller than this. I'll do some research and if I find out any, any information, I'll leave it in the description box below. But this was definitely a successful project. Now I wanna say that this material is very fragile so after you complete it, this is the type of material that will crack very easy. So you don't want to just throw it in the back of a van. You want to put it on your seat in your car and be like super delicate with it because it will crack on you. So you do have to be careful about that. Also, in terms of weight, you probably want to put like maybe a cupcake stand on here, a two tier cupcake stand with some flowers and a candle. You don't want to weigh it down with a real cake. That is a fake cake. It's a prop that I'm using, but I wouldn't suggest that you put a cake on this um, only because fondants, uh, those cakes that they make now can be very, very heavy. So I would not put a cake on there um, unless it is just a regular homemade cake with only one tier, but I would not put anything bigger than one tier on this stand. But a cupcake, like a two-tier cupcake stand with cupcakes on it or cookies or something like that would work, but don't put a wedding cake on this sucker, okay? <laughs> All right, so um, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this project. As always, don't forget to rate and subscribe and please share this video, please rate the video. And as always, don't forget to hit me up on Instagram and Facebook, my social media platforms. All right, guys, I will see you in the next DIY video. Take care. Bye-bye.